Hi guys, so my last tag video is going to be the Doctor Who BJD tag made by Columbing, I think is how you say your YouTube name. One caveat, I do not watch Doctor Who. I'm not into Doctor Who at all, but I like these questions. I have many friends who love Doctor Who and are crazy about it, but I... It's not my thing. I have too many fandoms. I gotta focus on certain fandoms. Otherwise, I will burn myself out. <laughs> Alright, so question number one. Doctor Who has regenerated 12 times so far. Have you reshelled a character? If so, which one have you reshelled the most times? Uh, no, I've never reshelled a character, uh, but I've only been in the hobby a short time. Though I feel like I'm happy with all the sculpts that I have, except for Lawrence. He's the closest one to being reshelled, um, but I think a new face-up will keep me from having to reshell him. Number two, each new doctor chooses his look from a big clothes section, collection in the TARDIS. Which of your dolls would like to go through that collection? What do you think they might choose? Um, that's easy. Miss Tomi, a fashionista girl, loves clothing and looking awesome. What would she pick out? She'd probably pick out so much stuff it would be ridiculous. Though her style tends to be uh, kind of urban, kind of punky, kind of gyaru. She's in this weird space where she's not like a specific style but her style is definitely her own thing. Number three, K9 was the fourth doctor's pet faith slash faithful companion. What pets do your dolls have? Um, actually, Lawrence, because he loves birds, is um, does falconry. So he has a uh, pet falcon that he uses for hunting. Someday maybe I'll be able to find a falcon for him, though I highly doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, that is one of his. I think he might have like other pet like birds, like little like songbirds or something. Um, cuz he loves birds. Number 4, companions. Do you have lone dolls either only one in a particular size or one who you never picture with your other dolls? So Lawrence is kind of a loner. Like in the story, he has other characters that he um is with but as a doll right now he doesn't really have anybody so Tommy and Sabro have each other and then um, Bellamy you can see her um, has the trolls that she's friends with um, but Lawrence doesn't really have anybody it makes me so sad for him I love to shell some more characters in his story but at this point right now uh, I'm not focused on it number five Hardest. Time and relative dimension in space. Are any of your dolls from other time periods or other worlds? Uh, Lawrence is from a different time period. He's more in like a 1700s type time period, but he's not uh, historically accurate. He's like an alternate universe type of history. Like it's, it's still Earth and it's kind of like a European French court kind of time and place but it's not it's not historically accurate because I don't want to I don't want to have to be historically accurate all the time with him <laughs> that's my excuse <laughs> number six figure on the inside dioramas how do you manage storage and or display your bigger dolls uh, I've showed you guys before I have my dolly cabinet um, Sabro seriously could you keep it together okay you're gonna go up there naughty boy okay Anyways, I showed you guys my die, my doll cabinet, and inside of it goes my dioramas. Once I make them all, uh, right now it's only Lawrence's diorama in there, and all my dolls sit on top of it because I don't like to put them inside because then I can't see them. It makes me sad. I also have, if you can see above me, all of my Monster High dolls are up there. They would not fit on top of my doll cabinet. Someday I would very much like to have a craft room. And I can have all my dollies and stuff in my craft room. I can have big shelves. That would be great. Someday. Seven. Exterminate. The bad guys who appear in the most episodes of Doctor Who are the Daleks. Do you have bad guy characters or monsters in your doll family? Uh, Bellamy is really the only one uh, 
who has monsters or bad guys, even though the bad guys don't necessarily think of themselves as bad guys, but they do bad things. So Bellamy would be um, like the dread Dreadful Darkness is one of the bad guys, and um, the fairies in her story are, are kind of bad, um, and sometimes the humans are bad too. Number eight. The last of the Time Lords. If you could only keep one doll, which one would it be? That would be really hard to pick. I mean, I only have four, but like, really, it's between my two girls. Like, I love these two so much. Like, aesthetically, I love Bellamy a lot. Um, I think she's so beautiful. And then, character-wise, it's Tomi. It's totally perfect. It would be really hard to choose between these two dolls. Uh, I don't know if I could choose. Maybe I'd keep Tommy. Because I could probably get another Bella. I mean, it would be hard, terrible because she has this awesome face up by Denali Wind. So that would be hard. It would be hard. I can't. Character wise, I'm more attached to Tommy. Doll wise, I'm more attached to Bellamy. It's hard to pick. It's so hard. I hope that day never happens. That would be a terrible day. Number nine. Cybermen were created to be human upgrades. Have you done mods on any of your dolls or chosen to replace parts with parts from other companies? Uh, no. I haven't done any modding on my dolls. I haven't replaced any parts or done anything like that. Though, I have thought about modding Tomi. I mentioned before that um, her ears are kind of like giant Dumbo ears and they stick out a lot <laughs> and it looks really funny but you can't really tell with her wig on the only other part that I might mod is like the back of her neck right here um, she has like this little lip right there that makes it so she can't really look, really look up like she can't look up at all that's as far as she can move her head up she looks down great but um, yeah she there's no way to make her look up. So that's uh, kind of annoying. It might be something I do in the future. Um, the other mod that I might do in the future is um, on Saburo, in his head, like the hole that's in there is just a hole. Like it doesn't have a slit for the S ring to fall down into so that you don't have to completely unstring him to take his head off. So that's definitely a mod that I'm probably going to commission someone to do because. I don't have a Dremel and I don't have those skills. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the only kind of mod things that I am currently planning. Okay, number 10, Sonic Screwdriver. What is your most versatile tool for working with your BJDs? Um, I don't know. I don't do a lot of things with my dolls that require tools. Maybe my sewing machine, but that's not like versatile. It's just a sewing machine, it just sews. So I don't know what my most versatile tool would be. Um, yeah, that's a hard question. I don't know, I don't really have one. Um, 11, River Song is the doctor's wife. She was born Melody Pond. She has also been known as Mel's and Melody Malone. Do you have any dolls who have multiple identities? Uh, yeah, that's easy. Tomi and Saburo are... Uh, Tomi is a fox, she's a kitsune, and um, Saburo is a tanuki, so that's kind of their double identities. Um, they go, they s still have the same names, but they also have that other part of themselves that most people don't know about. Number 12, Bad Wolf. After looking into the heart of the TARDIS, the time vortex itself filled Rose Tyler, who then temporarily became the Bad Wolf entity. She scattered the two words throughout time as a sign to herself that she was a link to the Doctor. Do you have any reoccurring themes, images, words, or events in your stories? So I'm popping in really quick because the answer I gave, I don't like that answer very much, and I thought of a better answer, so I'm going to tell you guys now. Uh, some, I think the recurring theme in throughout all of my stories is that all of the characters feel really disconnected from the worlds that they live in. 
like Lawrence, for instance, he's a prince. He has to do all the royal hoopla and the pomp and all that, that he just he thinks it's petty and he feels like he just is in this world that he cannot relate to at all. Uh, Tomi literally, and Sauro too, they are magical creatures. They are not humans. They are masquerading as humans. So they literally do not belong in that world. Um, and Bellamy, she feels disconnected from humanity um, and feels more at home in the forest with the forest creatures and with the trolls. And that's how she's, you know, who she's connected to. And she can't relate or connect to the humans as much. So that would be my reoccurring theme throughout all of my stories. Okay, well, that was it. This tag was really fun, even though I have no idea about anything Doctor Who. But the questions were really fun, and I hope that other people will do this tag too. So thanks for watching. Bye. Something about her neck, because she looks down, like, really great, but, like, looking up, like, that's...